Skopje is one of the few cities that you can see in the world where many people from different religions, different ethnicities and different cultures has been living together for hundreds of years within peace and happiness. The art on the mural of the shopping mall is sort of the expression of that mixed community of people from different cultures. If the artist is somehow from that community, from that country or from that place, then it will express a complete feeling of the people of that society. Jawair Mall facade started as a traditional method construction facade. But there was a point in between our team within the company that we had to put something artistic. So while we were searching for the options, the mural showed up. The feedback we got actually convinced us that this is gonna give a complete new hype to the city and to the municipality of Aerodrome. It's very simple. It is more than a mall. It is also focused so much in culture, art, food and beverage, and different activities other than regular shops and stores that you can find anywhere else. This wall is one of the biggest single surface mural facades in Eastern Europe. This project consists of the highest towers in the city and one of the highest towers in the whole region. The first step was to find mural artists who were pursuing this professionally. The difficulty there was that um, these artists, they weren't really thinking out of the box too much. We got in touch with the university, with the fine arts faculty. There, Professor Laze was the coordinator on the school side. He mobilized the students and the school, and he tried his best to encourage the students to join in this competition. The design selection process was made in several stages. The main idea was since the announcement of the competition was to enroll the students into the project uh, by itself in order to get much more familiar with the whole challenges. Well, at first, starting with the competition, our professors gave us a bit of a vague uh, description of what was asked. Professor Laza, he, he was very insistent that we all apply and he was always open to consultations. The most important thing about creating um, designs for such huge object is the idea. It started with a sketch in Photoshop, just shapes and things I wanted to experiment with. I tried to play with around with some colors. I didn't want it to be too colorful, but I didn't want it to be too monotonous. The inspiration was based off the brief we were given, which just said abstract. <laughs> I tried to think a way around it, how it can be abstract but still have some uh, shapes and forms and message. The originality was something uh, that was uh, the priority in the whole process and also their personal integrity. I wanted to implement some elements from Macedonian culture but not to be too in your face about it. Lara's design has some hidden messages. I really liked how she puts some things of Macedonia without you realizing. I wanted a design to be both modern but not stuck in a certain decade, both playful but serious. A mix of things that contradict themselves but create this harmonious, united flow. It was a bit risky for many people, but since the beginning we said, no, we trust the youth, we trust the students. I was relieved because I was like, that's it. I think this is the one, like, without... <laughs> Telling anyone, I was like, in my mind, this is going to be on the facade. <laughs> it was obvious.
The connection between corporate building and art is something that has been an old practice. It has been a segment that built modern societies and pop art is an example that comes out of that segment of corporate culture. We started communicating with the muralists. Uh, once we decided on the team, there was the process of sourcing the material. My biggest concern was if we were going to be okay with the time schedule or not, because you cannot do the mural in any time of the season. You have to have certain weather degree in order to have high quality of painting that stays on the wall. Five team members worked on painting the facade, which was 4,100 square meter with approximately 1,900 liters of paint. They delivered the project in less than two months. They performed better than we expected. When I saw their sketch on the facade, I was a bit taken aback because it looked nothing like uh, my design. But their technique uh, works really well because they recreated the design completely from start to finish the way it is in the vector format. Without doubt, I can say I didn't imagine it would be this good. This uh, mural definitely inspires. Building landmarks in the life of societies is leaving landmarks in the memories of those people that will never forget you for hundreds of years. People should come and visit, take pictures, put it on their Instagram. <laughs> to see this facade as a whole picture with the towers is something else. This facade changed the whole view of the project. It still feels unreal. Um, every time I pass it, I have to have a moment to process that this is my design, something that started on a screen in Photoshop, ended up being really well made at that scale.